Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great Saturday. Today on the channel, we'll be looking at the final figure of Wave 5, and that is Faker, Evil Robot of Skeletor, and my second favorite figure of all time. And there he is. Of course, in that classic vintage uh, Master Universe style card back that we all remember back in the 80s. With those exploding red rocks, lava rocks. And we'll flip it around to the back. With some beautiful artwork. And I absolutely love the fact that Ram Man and Manny Faces believed in the background that's He Man. Of course, it's not, it's, it's Faker, about the, and he jumps out and about to, like a surprise attack. Amazing. Now, now to me, Faker is a, is an interesting one because um, when the first time I first time we saw Faker was in Filmation. Uh, he was in one of the earliest episodes, I think episode two or three. And in the filmation style, he was a He-Man. He was He-Man, you know. Uh, uh, he wasn't blue. He was uh, regular uh, skin tone. He uh, didn't have the orange uh, armor. You know, the only difference was is that, you know, his eyes glowed. And that was it. And he also had, like, more of a mechanical voice. And so, and he was so popular that, you know, Mattel created this... But they did it with the blue skin tone because it would have been kind of weird getting like almost two similar He-Mans, He-Man and Faker. And the only difference was is that uh, his eyes glowed. So a lot of parents and stuff like that wouldn't probably would have bought another He-Man. Exactly. If you, if, you know. So I'm, that's why I believe they gave him a, a much like a bluer skin tone. The orange uh, like Skeletor like. Uh, chest plate or armor with the orange hair they make it a much different like even though it's a it's a repaint of he-man again but it's a different repaint and so parents would have probably been like yeah you know it it caught the eye of the, of the kid and the, and the buyer and the parent and so i that's why i feel like they did that but i think super seven did a, a tribute to like a faker where it was like a he-man but you could swap the heads out and stuff like that and give him the the glowing eyes and stuff like that. So that's what I feel like they Mattel decided to do. You know, if give him that that blue tone, the orange hair and stuff like that. Because if it, if they would have done like another He Man figure with just the glowing eyes back then, I don't think it would have sold as well. So that's my take on it. I could be wrong, but but I absolutely love this figure. It's amazing. Now, Mattel Creations gave us the Leo Faker. And I'm going to show you, I have that as well. And it's a little bit different from the normal version. Okay, you can see that it has like the belt and it's got the, like the orange Havoc staff and the eyes have that dark, black, sinister look to them. Uh, this is based out of the Indian version. Of course, near the end of the Mattel run, they were selling the, uh, the, you know, the Master Universe line to different countries, and one was to India, and this is the more, more popular one that came out, and I think the Skelter one as well. And this is what it looked like um, in that version from the retail, I mean from the, um, the uh, vintage line. And I have next to that dark purple Skeletor. You can see there's that faker and I want to thank again to uh, Pixel Dan and Dark Horse Comics for this amazing book. If you want to read all about it, I said, you know, I would buy it guys. This book is amazing. It gives you a lot of detail and all that stuff of all the different countries that were able to add their own flavor to the original line and look of each figure. And of course, we also got that duplicate. I believe this was a fan-made uh, figure or cat that somebody painted 
and Mattel loved it so much that they included it in this two pack. And let me flip it around to see some absolutely amazing, incredible artwork, guys. You got Thunder Punch E Man, and look at that. I'm not sure who this person is. I'll just call her like a dark witch. And I guess that's the spirit of Snake Mountain. I thought it was just the first of all, I thought it was the spirit of, of Castle Grayskull, but then I looked, it's not. It's Snake Mountain. There you go. Flip around in the back. And the back to the front, I'm sorry. Another shot. And I and I have to believe at some point, I mean, it, that Mattel will give us a single carded uh duplicate, you know, in retail. I mean it I think I think that would be a missed opportunity. I really do. Because a lot of people because this thing is it's getting up there in price now. And so I'm and I don't know if, you know, if if somebody go on eBay or something like that, that they will like separate the uh you know the figure to the cat and stuff like that and you might be lucky and find the cat on its own who knows but i i feel like mattel should should include a, like a single carded uh duplicate you know in retail let me take this faker again right here and of course faker i have the i have the uh mondo version of him Now, what, and there, oh, that background. now this background right here is also pretty cool because it reminded me so much of that Battlefield Warriors background on the Target exclusive. So I'm going to put them next to each other, side by side. So here's the uh, Motel Creations Faker. And then here's the uh, Battlefield Warriors version. Get back. There we go. And you can see the boxes are much like this box is much bigger because you get more to it. You get the the floor for the Castle Grey Skull, and you got the uh, the uh, gargoyles or demons, and you got you know uh, another head sculpt and you know the sword. And then this is just the figure and the cat, and then you get these claws as well to add to the feet of Duplicat. Okay, and I do have a loose version of him. And there we go. So unlike the Leo version, he does not come with the Havoc Staff or the uh, the belt, the orange belt that goes around his, uh, his waist. So you can move the head around, you can twist the body. You, you can articulate the feet and the and the legs. You can move the arms side to side. Where the vintage, you could not do that, unfortunately. So you can pose it. You can move more posability and stuff like that. Uh, you can mix match. You can take, you know. And you put it back on. You can customize. Like you can remove the head. And you can add like a, like a normal He-Man head. Like he's like... Fully transporting to like He Man to fake everybody out and stuff like that. Comes right off. It's pretty easy. And you can snap it right back on with no problems. Now, a good friend of mine, and I give this card right here, uh, Jimmy Kellogg. Okay. He's a painter and customizer. There's his information right there. And I'll add, and I'll add this information in the description below, guys, if you want to contact him. Gave, did a, a duplicate style uh, uh, it was actually Panthor and he repainted it for me and I think he did an amazing job and I'll put Faker right there 
And there we go. But I, I still believe that we'll get a normal uh, single carded uh, version of Duplicat in retail at some point. And also, I want to uh, show you this. Mattel, uh, Master of Revelations did give us, you know, a deluxe version of a faker. Of course, we're getting another faker, the more blue style, uh, single carded soon, uh, coming in the fall. But they gave us that, that like that old school filmation look of, you know, the normal looking He-Man with other body parts and stuff that you can swap out from Revelations. And flip it onto the back to see some amazing artwork of Faker. Alright, we'll do a, a much more deeper dive and look at this Faker uh, when we do Master, Master, Master Universe Revelations or Masterverse. And all the other figures in Wave 1. And of course, I want to stand up next to that he Skeletor again. As you can see, the the skin tone of each, like before, um, just a reminder that it's a much different skin tone. Uh, the, you know, the Faker uh, is has a much lighter tone to it, and this one has a much more darker blue. All right, guys, there's, so there's a look at Faker from Wave 5, one of my absolute favorites of all time. I'm so happy we're going to be getting this version in the, uh, in the single carded pack of uh, Revelations soon. I'm going to take the time out, guys, to say thank you so much. Um, thank you for all my subscribers. Uh, if you made it this far in the video and you haven't subscribed, guys, please subscribe, guys. I love doing these. Like... I love doing these reviews and talking to you guys and stuff like that about Master Universe and stuff like that. Uh, please hit that like button, guys. Uh, and also share this video, too. Um, hit that notification bell when you know I upload, when I will upload new videos to the channel. Now, tomorrow I'm going to be doing something a little different. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to start the Master, Master Universe Revelations uh, Wave 1. I do collect those as well. So I will be starting wave one of the Master Universe Revelations pack. And I guess Faker was a good way of, of doing that. The Master Re Re Revolution Masterverse Faker Deluxe. So we'll be looking at all the figures in wave one. So I, can, I can't wait to do that. So once again, guys, thank you so much. Um, have a great Saturday. Until next time, guys. Take care.